Today we're talking to St Albans City Manager Ian Allenson down on the farthest south coast as we can get really. Down in Dorset where the Saints gone out of the FA Cup with a 4-1 defeat to National League South rivals Weymouth. The same score by which they beat us at Clarence Park recently. I thought Weymouth started really well here and they could have been a couple up in the first two or three minutes. They went ahead on ten minutes. Then we had a good spell midway through the half. But the game turned on a shocking penalty decision on 37 minutes. Um. I think, you're, I think you're right David, I think they started sharp, they started bright, um, they did have a couple of chances early on, Dean's made a great save to keep us in the game, I thought we were very unfortunate with the goal that went against us, the first one took a wicked deflection off David Longking and obviously you know, Dean's got it covered and then like you say I felt we, we, we were comfortable with the system that we did, worked hard, I worked well, I felt the players worked extremely hard, they, they filled in holes, filled in spaces and, and we created three or four really good chances and we should be scoring in them areas. To be fair, I mean, you know, Zane and um, and uh, Joe have had two really good opportunities. Probably one on one, the pair of them, and, and hit it straight at the keeper. The keeper's made a good save, and then, as you say, it's uh, it's a decision that goes probably beyond most people in terms of how we he see it and how he got it wrong. And I think you see the reaction from 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 our players in terms of I think every single player runs to the referee and. Uh, Unfortunately, I spoke to him at half time and he felt it was a penalty. I've asked him, you know, yeah. it's the same old scenario at the end of the day. It's done, it's gone, but at 2 0, we knew then if we had to open the game up, we were going to leave ourselves really exposed to their counter attacking. You know, they're a good side, they've got some good players, and the moment we had to try and get back in the game, it was just. If we didn't, if we didn't get back at 2-1 or 2-2 very quickly and, and close it back up again, we were going to be open to the, the counter attack and their pace and their movement, and uh, that's exactly what happened. They got the third. I thought we showed some great character from 3 0 got back to 3-1, and, and had a bit of a go. But again, you know, we was always going to be susceptible. And the minute we started pushing full backs in, the minute we started playing the extra body up front, um, we were going to leave us exposed to some wide areas, and, and they got the fourth. They could have been three or four in the last 10 minutes there quite easily. Right, just to clear up that penalty, Solomon and Wabuki won the ball, he put it straight into the uh, attacker's feet and uh, whether he stumbled over it, whether he dived or whatnot, he went down anyway. But uh, beyond that, Ian, we are continuing to start games slowly and we're pun being punished for it. Well, you know, we, we didn't, I don't intend to start the game slowly, I mean, we intended to start the game sharp today, but unfortunately, you know, we have and we can maybe give them a little bit of credit, as I say, we've got to... We've got to be very careful, we just don't keep criticising the players here because they're a little bit low at the moment, so we've got to try and try and build their confidence back up. Um, but as I say, I think going back to the penalty, David, I think you know they've had an appeal for a penalty for sort of 10 minutes before that where their fellas edited against David De Heyju. His arm's up in here, is it? It might have done from where I was, and I think what he's done is uh, he's made up for not giving them that one. And uh, that's disappointing at the end of the day because you can only give what you see. If he doesn't see the first one, he shouldn't be given the second one because it certainly wasn't a penalty. How damaging is this to the confidence, Ian? We're, we know we're not having a great run in the league. We're looking for a cup to give us a lift, and uh, it hasn't happened. Well, no, exactly, and we've got to, you know, we've got to look. I mean, I think this week we've looked on long, long and hard at where we, where we are, what we're going wrong, and um, it, it's a difficult situation because, you know, we've got some very good, talented players in, in the side, um, but perhaps we're, we're playing in wrong areas. Perhaps we're overplaying. Um, you know, we ask them to keep the ball, we ask them to pass the ball, but at the moment, you know, from the front to the back, we can't defend. I mean, that's 12 goals now, I think, in the last three games, taking out the Worthing, Worthing two performances. Um, so we have to look long and hard at where we are. Do we have to bring some fresh faces in? And I think, you know, that's something that I have to ask myself some questions that, you know, we, do we want some real hungry men that are going and experienced? But again, we can go talk about it all the time. You've got to have the right person that becomes available and you've got to have the right resources available to go and do it. So it's no good me saying we need to bring five or six players in that are going to cost X amount of pounds because we can only work with what we've got, which is, you know, as I've said before, you have to respect the budget. So we have to work with that. We have, we've gone with a lot younger legs and players this year, and, and I think from the experience side of it, it's probably caught us out a little bit. So, you know, the recruitment from my side probably hasn't been good enough, and I take full responsibility for that. So what do I need to do to change it around? As I said, we might have to bring one or two new bodies in um, just to make us a little bit harder to play against, a little bit more difficult to, to, to play against. But we've certainly got to turn the form around quite quickly because you know we can't afford too many defeats to this because the confidence will just go um, out the bottom floor with it. But again, you know, the one thing I won't do is I won't criticise the players for not trying. But I think the play, every single one of them has tried hard today. They've, they've put a good shift in, um, but we've just not been good enough in, 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 in both boxes. And, 
and I think you know, sometimes you've got to just take a little bit of credit and give it to Weymouth because I think they're an excellent side. They, they pass the ball extremely well, their movements are very, very good. But I felt quite comfortable in the first half and I knew the minute we have to open ourselves up against them, they were going to cause us and expose us in, in, in areas where we were a little bit short, especially in that last 20, 25 minutes. It's funny, in the first half when they did try to keep possession, keep passing across the pitch, it's when they, they were at their most least, sorry, their least effective really. Yeah, we got everybody behind the ball apart from Joe and, and we, we shut the holes and, and we kept the holes really, you know, really tight in terms of that. And in fact, it was good, it was very good. We, 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 we defended like we wanted to do, we worked hard on it in training in the week and, and everybody's done their job apart from the sort of first five or six minutes when we started a little bit slow. Really more than happy and comfortable, you know, they've got a wicked deflection that's put one up. And I'm comfortable, I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, we're in the game here, let's get in at 1-0 at half time. It's a bit like last week at Maidstone, 1-0, we give a goal away in the, in the 45th minute, but we haven't given the second goal away, we've defended it properly, um, Solomon's done the job he's had to do, I mean, it's probably embarrassing the way that the lad's gone down, especially now he's already been booked. So, would the referee have to book him for diving? I don't know. They're all the questions that people need to ask referees at the end of the day. But, you know, for us to go in at 2 0 down, we knew at some stage in that second half we're going to have to bring Sam on and, and, and have a go and see if we could get back in the game. And unfortunately, as I said to you, you know, the minute we're going to do that down here, we're going we're to cause ourselves some problems. You made three changes today, and one of those was taking out your most experienced player, David Noble. Yeah, I just went for a bit more legs in there because considering we had to, considering we had to try and work extremely hard against their their movement and, and the way they played, I just went and put some legs in there and put Scotty in there with Solomon and uh, just that James Kolotsky sitting deep just to pick up their their, their floating uh, player that plays just behind the the centre forward. Um, and I thought he worked well, as I say. Unfortunately, Ollie's had to come off with a hamstring, so we had to change our shape. We went back to the original shape, but up until then, as I said, I felt I felt quite comfortable. But as I say, we've come away and you know we've lost four one, and we have to we have to accept it. But you know, there was a couple of little things there, and you can't make excuses. At the end of the day, we haven't been good enough to, to win today's game. But change the big things change games, and, and, and today we've had a couple of decisions go against us. And maybe an injury to Ollie because I felt the shape at the time with Thomas centre half was working really well. Um, but unfortunately, them things happen and we have to live with it, we have to get on with it, and, and we have to build now for, for non league day next week where we've got to try and get the whole of St Albans behind us because we certainly need the crowd. We've got to chip the crowd in as much as we can. You know, we've got to try and ask all the, all the supporters that boycotted over the last couple of weeks can you come back in and give the club a lift and, and try and give the players a lift and try and get us back on song because we need three points urgently next week. Obviously you mentioned Ollie there, how is he looking injury wise and also Joe who was forced off in the second half? I think Joe was just more a bit of cramp when we play him up front, he did a hell of a lot of running and he was just a little bit tired and, and I think you know, Ollie's, Ollie's got a hamstring, he's felt it so we, we didn't mess around trying to keep him on the pitch, we got him off as quick as we can so uh, I'm not sure whether it'll be a, a 10 day or two week one, I should, I should think at this stage we, you know, it's probably going to struggle to be fit for next, uh, for next Saturday at the moment. And do you have a message for those supporters that made the long trip today? Quite a few of them come down, I know you all went over and fact them at the end there. Yeah, I think the supporters have been excellent as I say, you know, and they've been very, very loyal to us all season and uh, you know, they've, they've turned up in their numbers today and it's just a shame we couldn't have given them a, a victory to go home with, it's a hell of a long way to come. It's um, and it, it's going to be a, a tough journey going back in terms of you know, not get going any further in the FA Cup. Um, and I think we all needed to go further in the FA Cup to just get the season ticking over. Obviously, it gives everybody at the club a lift. You know, and as I said there, with non-league day coming next week, we've got to work hard this week to get as many people into the club next week. We've got to ask for the people, the St Albans, to turn up, come out, and all the, all the supporters that have boycotted us since the start of the season. You know, I'm asking them, come back, come back for the game. We need you behind the goal. We need you to get behind the players. And, and we want you at the football club. So come back, try and do as much as you can in terms of getting the atmosphere up for next week because I think everybody needs that now for the next couple of games to try and get the, the, uh, the performances back up and obviously get the points on the board because, you know, we don't want to be sitting in the region. We're in now. We're at the FA Cup. There's nothing we can do about that now. It was always going to be a tough place to come Weymouth. Um, but unfortunately, you know, we, we, we've been beaten and we have to live with that now and we have to get on with trying to make sure we improve in the league games. You've mentioned a couple of times this game coming up next Saturday. Of course, that's against Eastbourne United at Clarence Park. They're pretty much in a uh, mess with us, really, down the bottom there. It's the side, both sides will need to win. A point's not a lot good to either side. No, and as we said it before, you know, do you want to talk about six points now? Yeah, I do, because it's a six-pointer, as simple as that. You know, I'm not going to pull any punches with, with our performances at the moment and the results on the board with us. You know, we have to 
we have to go and get some, some results and we've got to get them done quickly because you know the longer you stay in this region, you, you know what I'm like David, I spoke about it over the last three years when we're mid-table, I was more worried about getting dragged into relegation zone than, than, than even pushing on for the playoffs. So, you know, it's something that, that you know I've been in before, with a, whether it's at Boreham Wood or when I first come in here at St Albans. The one thing I won't do is panic, but we have to we have to improve our performances. Uh, I know that more than anyone, um, and I'd love to improve it with the players we got here. But you know, we might have to just change or tinker one or two or three players to make it slightly better because we have to come to the table. We have to play better. Two wins all season in the league hasn't been good enough, yeah. and going out to win today hasn't been good enough. So, you know, we have to turn it around quickly, uh, and we've got to put some performances on on the pitch, and we've got to go and score some goals, and we've got to make sure that we climb the table very quickly. Lovely, thanks so much, Ian. We look forward to that long trip back now. It's going to seem even longer than usual. Uh, so we're saying it's next in action. That's next Saturday, the 12th of October, when Eastbourne United are visitors to Clarence Park. Kick-off is at 3pm.